Welcome to the Knowledge Gaming Entertainment Channel, my fellow Blitzers. Your honest new tank review go-to channel. Yesterday we dropped the new Tier 9 German Medium Concept 1 from containers. And the obvious question that needs to be provided to my viewers is, is it worth going for? So in this video we'll provide an honest, straightforward opinion of this new container tank to help my valuable viewers know what to expect before risking their gold. First, let's outline this 120mm gun that, spoiler alert, is maybe this Hoopty Wagon's only redeeming feature. It provides an aiming time of a decent 2.9 seconds. The accuracy is a less than desirable 0.32. DPM an average 2434 with a reload of 8.87 seconds. That is, with these provisions, and equipment settings. Obviously I'm going for the calibrated. For more max penetration, you could also try the refined gun for cleaning up the accuracy, but so far I haven't found the need. The average pen on the standard AP is 248 millimeters. The heat Bramo is a decent 322 with the aforementioned calibrated shells. Alpha damage 360 of skimpiness for the standard AP and a measly 300 for the heat Pramo. HE has 450 when the opportunity arises. Gun turn limit shown here with 8 degrees down. Now let's slide on over to the armor stats. The funky turret has just 170 millimeters at the front, 110 on the sides and just 65 for the front of the hull. I'm going to be honest and say this armor has no redeeming qualities outside of the rare troll bounce you could get in any light tank. If you get caught out in the open in this funky Furby, you'll get toasted like a bagel in short order. Now let's grab those mobility stats. Although we can see 55 forward with 20 reverse and what appears to be decent power to weight ratio, it doesn't feel anything special in mobility dynamics out on the battlefield. So let's sum this up, tankers, in the most honest and simple way. I didn't release this review yesterday as I always like to make sure these kind of vehicles get a fair chance to make an impression on me. And we all know how wild Blitz matchmaking and therefore RNG swings from one day to the next. Compared to other choices at Tier 9, this thing feels like a dumpster fire for the amount of gold it may take most of you to acquire it. Is it the worst Tier 9? So far I would say it is a struggle bus most of the time for the average player. Can it carry? No. Is the gun capable of reliably scoring at the top of your team in tough situations? Nope, not even close to what the good old tier 9 T-54 can pull off. I'm sorry I don't have better things to say about this new tier 9 medium. Keep in mind, all of this is based on the statistically possible large amount of gold required 95% of the time to get your hands on this new tank. So tankers, don't get anxious if you passed on this one for now. And for those who did get it and like it, don't shoot the messenger. I'm putting this out there having been on Blitz for 10 years, and this isn't one of the better tanks that's going to be cleaning everyone's clock and leaving you wishing you would have picked it up the first time around. Okay, tankers, hopefully this helps all of you. Thanks for stopping by the channel, my fellow Blitzers, and a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. So until next time, tankers, take care, and you won't see me out on the battlefield too often in this new gold gobbling dumpster fire of a hoopty wagon.